Admiral, we have an incoming transmission from Starfleet. Put it on the main viewer. Hi, Liquidator Hovac here for STO Tech Trek. Rule of acquisition number 74. Knowledge equals profit. Yes, the profit rises. If you got questions, we've got answers. Oh, just turn it off. All right, guys, that was a pretty interesting ISA run. And as promised, we're going to show you guys the Romulan build for this Romulan Vesta. Um, first, let's take a look at the numbers for that ISA. And here we've got the 104K for that run. Look at our analysis report here. Give you guys a breakdown. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so for this build, now keep in mind this build isn't completely done yet. There's still some things that need to be worked on, like spec points and stuff of that nature. But we've got 18K from our secondary deflector. We've got 17K from pets, and let's see what kind of damage that was from. The Hapax Warbird, Anti-Time Entanglement Singularity, and the Delta Flyers. All right, and... And we've got our radiation damage from the particle emission torp. Uh, entropic redistribution did pretty well. Gravity well did pretty good. Uh, not the perfect run for this particular build, but it wasn't a bad. It wasn't too shabby. All right, so let's take a look at our build here. First, we'll go into the ship here. This sh particular ship is the Gallus Surveillance Explorer Warbird T6. And as you can see here, it's a pretty nice looking boat. I kind of like the way it looks. It's got that whole singularity core showing exposed over there. Looks pretty good with the Lucari shield on it. Yeah, it's not too bad. But for this particular build, we've, we've made a few changes to our, our uh, main build. Changes that were probably necessary due to you know certain things coming out with Season 14. Um, particularly the Colony World Deflector. Um, if you guys haven't seen this before, what it basically does is allows you to get more crit chance and hull severity, as you can see at the bottom of that tooltip there, and that's based on your hull percentage. So the more hull you have, the more of that you're going to have base. So you're looking at 4% max crit chance and 15% crit severity, which is pretty big for science. Um, as always, we're running our secondary deflectors here. Uh, it's a base model. That one's pretty pricey on the exchange, but there are alternatives uh, with the new colony deflector system. They have secondary deflectors in there that are just as good, um, not quite as user-friendly, or not user-friendly, not quite as good for a pure exotic build, but it does have um, a torpedo buff on it as well. Um, let me see if I have one. I know I don't have one the, on this boat. I got one of my other science tune. But the standard stapers we're still going with is the Terran Task Force Disruptor, uh, the Particle Emission Plasma Torpedo, Experimental Romulan Plasma Beam Array in the front, and then of course our Temporal Two-Piece, which is the Engine and Singularity Core on this Romulan bird. And then right here we're rocking the Soul Defense Shield Array. Um, I'm doing that mainly because that was the only shield array I had at the moment. I'm still working on getting the Iconian Shield for it. And then, of course, we've got our Polaron Omnidirectional and our regular Beam Array for the set bonuses. And then the Krenum Chronoton Torpedo in the back also for the set bonuses. And then, as you can see here, we're running the Timeline Stabilizer, the Delphic Tear Generator, uh, the Constriction Anchor, the Auxiliary Ejection Assembly, and the Tachyon Wave Siphon, which is the console that comes with the boat. Now, in and of itself, it's not really that great for this particular build as far as the passives go, because it's got Drain X and Shield Restoration on it, but the clicky that it affords you um, does some really nice shield stripping on multiple targets at once, especially if they're grouped in on a gravity well, you get them targets in there and BAM! And this also provides you with secondary shielding uh, from the drain that you're doing on those shields, so it allows you to survive a little bit more. And then the dynamic power redistributor model, module, sorry, gives you a little bit more damage resistance rating, um, some extra directed energy damage for your beams 
um, give it a little bit more boost. But the clicky itself gives a cat 2 40% bonus damage for 5 seconds. And it gets reapplied every second for 20 seconds as long as your health is above 80%. So having this on this boat is actually a really good thing because of that cat 2 bonus. Plus you get all that bonus damage resistance rating for 20 seconds and a lot of hull regen. So it helps you to stay alive and increases your damage output. Now of course we're running our exotic particle focusers, the Crit X EPG ones. Um, mainly focusing on the EPG of course to give our EPG powers a big boost in their overall damage output. And then right here we got the exotic, exotic particle field exciter. Um, which is giving you more part gens and shield capacity. I haven't upgraded this one yet to epic to try and get the double part gens on there. So as you can see on my stats here, now let's scroll down to science. I'm running right around 403 particle generator and 235 control X. Now this is right around the target you want to run at and having a little bit extra particle generator will actually boost your your damage a bit but you don't really have to chase it that much so what we've got here is the ability to use huge gravity wells that have a long pull range and then enough particle gens to actually do some damage all right now on this particular um Romulan boat we're running the elite delta flyers because i i thought that would be the better pet to use for this particular setup because of the tachyon beam 3 gets all that shield stripping down and doing all sorts of nice little damage here and there plus they're pretty quick so they can go after torpedoes and stuff like that all right let's take a look at our skill setup um, for this particular boat i did run a different skill setup uh, we're not using the science ultimate on this one what we're doing is we're using the tactical ultimate on this one and we did that for a few reasons because we want to try out the Focus Frenzy, which gives you uh, more bonus weapon damage per stack, uh, gives you ability recharge times, and it also helps your teammates to do the same thing. So they get stacks of the Team Frenzy as well. So right here you can see what I'm running for skills. I'll scroll up a couple pages so you can see what I'm running. It's, it's definitely a different animal, but it's working out well on the Romulan boat. Alright, now as far as specializations, we are still running with our Temporal Operative and our Strategist, but I don't have them filled out completely yet. And as you can see, I'm still missing quite a few points here, and quite a few points in the Temporal. I mean, I've got all the space stuff, but once I get the rest of this filled out, I'll have even more part gen bonus skill once it's done. Alright, and then from there we're going to go to the traits. Now, she is a Romulan, but I chose an alien character, and I did that on purpose to get that 10th personal space trait. Now, it's not ne really huge necessary, but it can be helpful if you're trying to squeeze in as much power and, or you know, abilities as you can on one tune. Um, so what we're going to do is going to go through here. We've got our astrophysicist our Thrill Seeker, our Projectile Training, um, the Operative, which gives us more Crit Chance, Crit Severity, Fleet Coordinator, which gives us a little bit more damage boost per team member, um, Subnucleonic Transferal, so we get more power levels when we hit that subnuke, uh, Particle Manipulator, which is giving us a maxed out 50% hit crit chance on all of our exotic damage abilities, plus 40.3% crit hit severity for exotic damage. And that is based on your particle generator skill. That's why it's essential to get that particle generator skill high enough so that you have that crit hit severity up pretty decently high. And then we've got our invasive control programming, which... Uh, which does random subsystem disables and stuff like that. And then you've got Innocuous, which reduces our threat, because on a science boat, we're, we're pulling in a lot of threat with the zero-kilometer threat abilities, like Gravity Well, Subspace Vortex. But you want to try to reduce your threat as much as possible. 
And then, of course, we've got Conservation of Energy, which is a Cat 2 damage bonus on all of our exotic damage powers anytime we are struck by energy damage. All right, then our Starship Traits, we're looking at Exotic Modulation, which is another 20% bonus Cat 2 for exotic damage. Our Charged Particle Reaction, which works with our Charged Particle Burst ability. And then Particle Feedback Loop, which gives us more Hull Pen. And then Emitter Synergy, which gives us more exotic damage. And then for this boat, I'm running the Improved Critical Systems, so that every time I hit Emergency Power to Engines, which I do quite often, um, I get more crit chance and more crit severity. So that's stacking even more of that. All right, now onto our space reputation here. Um, I'm running the aux power configurations, both the offense and the defense. Uh, the defense more importantly because in the current meta, there's um, a lot more damage being dealt to players and we lost our resistances when they tweaked the fleet buff. So we're going with that for more damage resistance. And then, of course, the Ox Power is giving us a little bit of a Cat 1 boost for all of our damage, so that'll give us a little bit of a, a, a bump up. And then our Particle Generator Amplifier gives us a Cat 2 5% exotic bonus damage. Yet another Cat 2 that we can take advantage of. And then, of course, we've got our Precision for Crit Chance and our Advanced Targeting Systems for more Crit Severity. And then the space reps, I'm currently running the anti-time entanglement singularity, the quantum singularity manipulation for the boost to my science stats, and that little bit of cloak helps to get out of trouble for a little bit. And then of course the refracting tetrion cascade, and then I've been running the deploy sensor interference platform. It helps out in runs where there isn't someone pulling threat. So if you're in a run a bit, or you know pickup group run where nobody's pulling any sort of threat and you're generating all this threat because of your exotics, if you throw that down, it'll help ease some of the damage you're taking. It's not going to prevent you from dying, but it'll help give you that little bit of extra leeway so that you can heal up or, or get out of danger. All right, so let's check out our stations here. Uh, as with most of my builds, you're going to see that I'm running, you know, a couple temporal abilities, channel deconstruction, and tropic redistribution. Uh, we're also running subspace vortex 2 in this particular seat. And then we've got uh, hazard emitters, destabilizing resonance beam, charge particle burst 2, and gravity well 3. And then for our engine seat, NG seat, we're running the emergency power to engines, which we've got the DOF to trigger the cooldown off of evasive maneuvers. And then aux to damp to give us some more speed and turn rate to try to you know move faster to the other side of ISA. Then we're running fire at will one, and then beta one to give us a little bit more debuff. And then chemo one and torp spread two. Now unfortunately you can't fit torp spread three on this boat if you want to run all the science and temporal to you know make that work and mesh well together. But it works out. Um, Torp Spread 2 is still going to give you a decent amount of coverage and a decent amount of radiation from your plasma torpedoes as you saw in the last run. Alright, and then we're going to go to our... Let's see here, our DOF system here. Really what we're running for DOFs. Alright, we've got our Borg DOF here and the Emergency Con Officer and Agent Narol for the attack pattern beta so we get a little bit more healing. Uh, two deflector officers, and I'm experimenting with this particular officer here. It's a gravimetric scientist, but he has a 20% chance to apply radiation damage to the targets hit by charged particle burst. And so far, I've seen some pretty decent numbers out of it. It's it's you know giving you that extra little oomph that science is kind of missing some points. But it's not too bad. I've been experimenting with it. Go, don't go nuts trying to buy one if you if you don't need one. Um, if you if you can get away with it without having it, then more power to you. But it is a little extra boost. But I'll in another video I'll probably go over m more detail about what um, kind of numbers I'm seeing out of him. All right. So we've seen our doffs. We've seen our layout. We've seen our traits. We've seen our skills. We've seen our stats. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, 
we have a uh, 100k Romulan science tune. Now, of course, with my stations, I am running all SROs, or, you know, Romulan operatives. Two of them are just Romulan operatives. But as you can see, sitting here in sector space, I've got a base 20% crit chance and 112 crit severity. And that's not including all the stuff that triggers and gives me more of that. So that's, that's a pretty good base right there for a science tune. Especially since we're not running any tactical consoles. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff and stay up with what we got going on, hit that subscribe button. And as always, share this on social media. Show your friends what's going on. Let them know that there's a Romulan science build out there now. My name is Darth Proteus. You guys have a Trek day. I'm out of here.